Welcome again to Somerset Place. Thus far in our series, we've covered the restoration and archaeological projects that occurred at our site when it was part of Pettigrew State Park. However, in recognition that the quote, land on the north shore of Lake Phelps is principally of historic interest, the General Assembly established Somerset Place as a state historic site in 1965 and appropriated funds for continued restoration. Inside the Collins home, workers repaired the original marble fireplace surrounds and replaced one mantle. They also repainted the interiors and exteriors of the Collins home and Colony House and installed heating and air conditioning in both buildings for the first time. To accommodate the HVAC units, laborers reconstructed the bathhouse in 1968 which William Tarleton had excavated 15 years earlier. The structure was modeled after similar buildings in Murfreesboro and was built to the same dimensions and with the same materials as the original bathhouse. Also in 1968, the state worked with a consultant to furnish the interior of the Collins home with period antiques and acquired several original items from descendants of the Collins family. Over the next year, historic site staff added window treatments, repainted the exteriors of the domestic dependencies, and replaced and repainted some of the fences. Lastly, the original colony house was renovated to serve as a, quote, temporary visitor center for the new historic site, with offices for both the site and Pettigrew State Park located on the second floor. The building still serves as our visitor center and contains staff offices today. Although some of the restoration work was not yet complete, Somerset Place was dedicated as North Carolina's 14th State Historic Site on September 6, 1969. As the focus of the restoration work indicates, the site functioned primarily as a house museum. It told the story of the Collins family but silenced the role of enslaved people. It was not until the 1980s that the site began offering an inclusive narrative, one that relied on new archaeological research in the enslaved community. We'll talk about those excavations in our next videos. While you wait, please subscribe to our channel and ring that bell to receive notifications of our latest uploads. Until next time, thanks for joining us.